I'm Karen Stitzenberg and I'm an Associate Professor of Surgical Oncology and an adjunct in Health Policy and Management. Surgical Oncologist is a surgeon who has done training in general surgery and then additional training specifically in cancer. In surgical oncology, it is more than just a single episode of care, really taking care of people throughout a period of time when they're facing this diagnosis of cancer. So within our division of surgical oncology, there are 11 of us. We are all broadly trained, but in order to really be able to develop areas of expertise, we all focus in on specific areas within general surgical oncology. The two areas that I do the most of right now are intestinal cancers, colorectal cancer, anal cancers, small intestine cancers, and then um, melanoma and complex skin cancer. So I originally came to UNC for medical school. In some ways I never left. I stayed on after medical school to do my general surgery training here uh, because I really uh, thought I could get a, a high quality training here. It was very broad and deep training uh, that I was able to obtain in general surgery here. It worked out well for me that uh, at the time that I finished my fellowship training there was uh, an opening here uh, and an interest in the work that I was doing and so I came back. Um, this is the only faculty position I've ever had. I think when patients come for their first visit to see me, uh, often they are in a position where somebody has told them that they have cancer, but there is not yet a plan in place. And so for that first visit, my goals are a few. One is to make sure that we're all clear on what the situation is, what is the diagnosis, how advanced or not is it, and then laying out next steps so that by the time we finish that first visit, there's a plan in place. But having a plan and knowing what the steps are going to be really does help patients with the anxiety that comes with the potential or the known diagnosis of cancer. We also have a very large support program. I don't treat cancer at, in isolation at UNC. We have nurse navigators, we have a supportive oncology program, certainly there are other physicians involved in patients care. and. And so we work as a team, and I think even starting with our intake individuals, everybody's goal is to try to put patients at ease and to help them feel like, okay, well, we, we can take care of this and we have a plan um, and your needs are going to be met and your questions are going to be answered. And the fantastic things I think about getting to work here at UNC, where we are, the state's cancer hospital, is I get to take care of everybody. The, the variety of backgrounds and environments and situations that my patients come from is, is vast. But as a result, patients have different needs. That people come with different knowledge base, and that's, that's very true. Some of my patients are physicians, and they need less education from me about the basics of cancer and, and what may be going on with their body. And then other patients come, and they really have no background in, in healthcare or biology, and, and we have to start at a different place explaining what's going on. And there's a different level of information that different patients need, and so I think that, that to do what we do well, we need to understand that and be able to tailor things to what the patients need. I think when your car breaks down and you take it to a shop, you expect the car to get fixed, but you don't necessarily expect a relationship with the mechanic and you don't need that from them. But I think while in many ways people will make analogies between being a surgeon and being a mechanic, that's where there's the giant difference of in being a surgeon, yes, it's about I can technically fix the problem that is going on with your body, but there's more to that. There's also meeting the needs of the individual and being able to help them with all the other ways that this diagnosis is going to um, impact their life. And so in that sense, it does help patients to be able to uh, connect with their physician or specifically their surgeon and feel like they've been heard or questions are being answered and that their surgeon is with them through this journey, committed to helping them come through it in the least disruptive way with the best outcome at the end.